Good morning, Larry Leopards. It's Tuesday, May 19th, 2020, and I'm Ms. Hoffman bringing you today's top news stories. Our top story for today, summer reading. Summer is just around the corner. It feels hot. I mean, it's, it kind of feels like summer, but it's not here just yet. Summer is the perfect time to just pick up a book, any book, and just read for enjoyment. I have shown you a ton of websites and incentive programs going on throughout the summer. Here's another one from my favorite store, Barnes & Nobles. Barnes & Nobles has put up uh, an incentive program. To me, it's simple. All you have to do is read eight books, any eight books of your choosing. You do have to write on their uh, reading journal page, which I will have on my Edsby page. Download it. Write down the eight books that you've read over the summer. Explain your favorite part and why. Simple. That's it. Then take that piece of paper to Barnes & Nobles, any Barnes & Nobles, between July 1st and August 31st, and you get a free book. Again, here is the list of free books. I'll put that on my Etsy page as well. So when you read eight, then you can choose on the list and pick one and take it home and read. So it's a great program. I encourage you to do this. It's an easy way to get a free book and continue to read. I'm definitely going to do it. I'm going to make my son do it too because he gets a free book and then he can give it to me. I think that's a good plan. Anyway, now here's Abby with the weather. Please tell me it's going to be sunny tomorrow. Take it away, Good Abby. Good morning, my leopards. This is Abby with your weather report for Tuesday, May 19th, 2020. Today, we'll have a mix of sunshine and clouds. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. We'll have a high of 81 and a low of 70 with a 20% chance of rain. Now, back to Ms. Hoffman. Thanks, Abby, with that weather report. A lot of you have been asking for our next segment, and here it is, In the Kitchen with Jaden with another delicious recipe. Take it away, Jaden. Hi, my name is Jaden, and welcome back to In the Kitchen. Today we're going to be making a delicious, easy recipe called sweet cornbread. This is one of my favorites because it's sweet and it's easy to make. So let's get started. You will need one cup of flour, one cup of yellow cornmeal, two third cup of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, three and a half teaspoon of baking powder, one egg, one cup of milk, and one third cup of vegetable oil. After preheating your oven to 400 degrees, you want to spray or grease your pan so the cornbread doesn't stick to the sides. Now, I've already added my dry ingredients, so now I'm gonna add my milk, my vegetable oil, and last but not least, my egg. Now, you're going to want to stir this evenly until it's all done. After you're done, you can add it to this pan and cook it in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Cornbread looks delicious. Let's try it. Let's try it. Mmm. Sweet cornbread. Okay, we're going to end today with um, our friend Marlene saying thank you to her teachers. And don't forget that this is the last week for your math problems of the week. So I'm going to have those up as well. That's all I have for today. Have a great day of e-learning, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Martha has 15 dolls. Lucas has 38 cars. Bella has 22 balls. How many toys do they have all together? Remember to show your thinking. At 8.32 a.m., Max asked his teacher when it would be lunch. She told him lunch is at 11.15 a.m. How much longer does Max have to wait until lunch? Also remember to show your thinking and maybe show more than one strategy. Good luck. That's due on Thursday. Hi, so I'm thankful for my two teachers, Ms. Smith and Ms. Berge, because they um, taught me a lot this year and I understand a lot this year. And 
Um, I just wanted to say that thank you for teaching me a lot, Miss Smith and Miss Berkey. And if you're watching this, I really miss you guys helping me learn.